Hello guys, got another one for you today. Quite excited about this one. As you can see, I have things on my back. Uh, Deadpool swords. Yeah, Deadpool. 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 So yeah, I've got the Deadpool swords, which are incredibly cool. <laughs> which are incredibly cool. These are replica Deadpool swords, uh, display swords, which means that they are straight and non-curved. So they're basically display swords, they're, they're just a replica sword. Um, so Deadpool swords. I have a couple of issues with these swords, which uh, I have the same issues with just about any of the same back mounted swords. Uh, and this is the issue with back mounted swords that I find. In the films, they go swing and they're out. See, that's the problem. And it's not right graceful, is it, as a ninja, to, to be doing that and then to bring them out. It's not very graceful at all. And it, you know, you lose a lot of time, you, generally you've been killed as a ninja. I say a ninja. Everyone gets that mixed up, you see. Ninjas didn't use samurai swords. Samurai used samurai swords. Ninjas used other such stuff. So back onto the subject. Deadpool swords! Deadpool swords, which is super fucking cool. Um, so, what are they? They are stainless steel and wood and uh, the handle's wood, the blade is stainless steel. The handle? The handle? Is it a handle? I'll probably put a subtitle thing where it actually is because I can't quite remember and everyone's going to be like, hey, you don't know, fuck off. Um, I'm not sure if the full tang, it doesn't say. Uh, I would assume not with them being display swords. Uh, stainless steel with a metal uh, hand guard, which is also called <laughs> metal handguard with uh, wooden handles. Um, beautiful, beautiful swords, and as I'll show you here, a laser etched sort of design across the blade, across both blades. The laser etched design across both blades. They have the metal square handguard as per Deadpool, and they have the wooden handles with the uh, lines. They have them in as well. <clears throat> as far as Deadpool swords are, the only slight difference is because these are Deadpool-like swords, the, the replica swords, there's this part which is thinner at the end, whereas the actual ones stop about there. The blade is straight and not curved, as per Deadpool was curved and they're not sharp, but I'll tell you why they're not sharp because the production swords, and it would be illegal to have them sharp and curved unless they're hand forged I ain't breaking the law bruh, I ain't doing it I ain't going back to jail, not gonna happen so, Deadpool swords super super nice these are from Knife Warehouse uh, and they are 99.99 I do believe and they are super super nice. So you've seen the sword, I'll show you the scabbards. And the back piece, the back mount. The scabbards and the back mount. The scabbards are wood and matte black and so sort of squared off. Same as the movie, same as the movie swords. Completely squared off with just generally just blank. And the back piece is a, a leather back mount with the sort of like nylon straps, uh, felt nylon straps with a plastic, ABS plastic clip and a metal, metal adjuster strap. Um, as you can tell, this leather thing it ain't in Deadpool. It's not a it's not a leather back strap, the jig. It's uh, it's actually 
like a, a wooden or ABS with a, a design on it like so but that would be well expensive you can get it with that but they're way more expensive as opposed to just the leather piece and it's a display set so I'm not gonna spend extra for the you know the extra but I am however going to make one I'm gonna make my own out of wood um, which anyone can do really a lot cheaper rather than shelling out the extra hundred and odd quid just for the, the proper thing and again with the swords they aren't sharp but it is possible to sharpen them if you wanted to I wouldn't recommend it not only because the steel isn't going to be a blade steel so that it probably wouldn't sharpen too well it'd sharpen enough to be sharp but not like samurai saw 1045 carbon steel sharp it's just stainless so you'd probably knacker it but you could uh, for sort of accountability and legal reasons don't generally because I think they're really nice and I think you just you know have them on a wall and they're dead lovely so just leave them alone <laughs> um, a couple of things I will say as I said the differences is there's three four main differences the curved blade the sharpness the end of the handle and the back plate but as a display set for a super cheap price not an issue uh, one thing I will say as you can see with these laces it's leather, these parts, but it's only got a very thin piece there. So when I was tightening these, uh, which one is it? This one, when I was tightening these, I did break the piece of leather. That's my fault, I'm heavy handed. But watch out for that, they are a bit, you know, they can, if you really tug it like wood with laces, it will probably break. So watch out for that. Um, scabbard is, again, wood very nice, uh, sword has got the pointy edge, would probably stab, and scabbard and sword on its own, it looks stunning, it's a really nice piece. Um, yeah, so a super nice piece really, um, with the back piece. So yeah, they are like really nice swords to be fair, like I do really really like them. Um, as I said, I'm going to be making, eventually when I get around to it, I'm going to make the proper, the proper back, um, the back round scabbard, doubly, but slots in like so, out of wood with the proper design. Uh, I'm going to make that at some point and I might cut these ends off, I might just so it's like closer replica I might not bother uh, it might be full time I might hit the metal you know it's just I don't know if it's a good idea but what I am going to do however which you might want to do uh, I'm going to I've got some uh, red paracord um, uh, I've got some red paracord and I'm going to wrap red um, these with red with a, a bit of paracord coming off the end reason being any sort of Deadpool fans will probably know these are the movie swords they are the movie swords the movie swords are pure black but the uh, the comic book swords aren't the same as these but they've got black and red handles Ching! so I'm gonna do that just to be more towards the comic books rather than the movie because although I do love the movie the comic books is where it's at uh, so yeah Deadpool swords, got them at Knife Warehouse for $99.99 and they are super nice as a display piece. These are going somewhere here behind me for the videos. Um, so yeah, Deadpool swords, should be doing some more sword reviews coming soon, um, hopefully, and I should be doing some more knife reviews. Uh, I'm also going to do some law, uh, law differences, comparison, sharpening, sharpening sharpness, etc. Different steels, grading, knifing, etc. Bevels, all the jobs. Um, so yeah, Deadpool swords, <sighs> maximum effort. So yeah, uh, can watch out for my next videos. Uh, if you haven't seen the uh, unboxing of the mystery boxes from Knife Warehouse, have a look. Uh, they're probably in the sidebar. Um, I hope you enjoyed, if you want them, 
get them I would recommend it they are stunning swords watch out for my next videos I hope you enjoyed please as always like comment and subscribe pop a comment in below what you think about these swords and yeah peace out